Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to today's Unseen video. We've got so much to go through. We do have Nightbird stuff. You can see the stuff from like 22 hours ago here. So we do need to touch on this, but we do have plenty of non-Nightbird stuff as well. In fact, we've got quite a few folders. Uh, so let's get started. Here's Mohammed. Shout out to you, my friend. Just pointing out that the title of some of those options at the end, uh, one of them, for example, here was autonomy. And actually, if you look at some numbers, we do have 25. Oh, five. Uh, that is how it would be written here in the UK, here in, I think, Europe, actually. Uh, we do the day first and then the month after. Don't know if that is hinting towards that. Uh, it could just be random, of course. But uh, it is interesting to think that the 25th of May is King and Queen of the Ring. It's also Bo Dallas's birthday. I'm still feeling pretty good that that's where the group's going to arrive. But uh, there is a little bit of concern out there that uh, it could just be another QR code. We'll find out this Saturday. Right, then we've got this. I just like this. So Win in Reality did a fantastic job last time of cleaning up that image, that static image. Well, Win in Reality has done it again. So here we've got this cleaned it up to this i mean this looks a bit like a tiger to me i mean i can see some like lines that looks like eye nose mouth i mean obviously it's probably not but um it, i do kind of get that vibe from it but uh i wonder if i can make it bigger actually if i click on it will it uh go bigger there we go not much more that we can get from that. Um, a little bit like a Jeff Hardy vibe in a way, to be honest, but I don't think it's Jeff. I'm pretty sure he is out with concussion and still under contract with AEW. Uh, maybe some people might look at this and see it as a little hint that Matt Hardy could be coming in. I'm not expecting Matt Hardy to come in. Um, I don't know. I don't know. This one is proving quite tricky to be honest. Uh, so excellent work, though, by winning reality, cleaning it up. Certainly, uh, there's a lot more detail there than there is there. So uh, that's still the cleanest, clearest image that I've seen of that one so far. Slamex said, right, running each new audio clip through a spectrogram gets these pictures. So the file that was titled ICU2, that's the one that spells hello so is there a connection between the title and the actual picture right the one that was called north star that displays the firefly logo and the belief is that bray was the north star he was what people were following right and so is he still the north star is he still the guide if you will. So uh, North Star being connected to the Firefly logo. I think we can sort of, I, I feel like there's something to that. This one, I'm not sure. The one that's uh, titled Witness, the picture of that one turned out to be Uncle Howdy. And people are saying, well, Howdy witnessed this and witnessed that. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't really understand the one that's called Witness. What did he witness? What is he a witness to? Um, could be Bray's passing. He was there when Bray passed. He was a witness to that, but I don't know. Is that something that we would want to draw attention to here? I don't know. I really don't know. But I thought you might be interested to see what the title of the audio clip was and then what the picture uh, created was. And uh, is there a connection between those? Right here, so uh, Roxy Toxic said, when you put in the coordinates from the QR code, it brings you to Rowan University. We know that. But if you look at Street View, then I found some. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm not sold too much on this, right? I'm going to uh, take the sound down. reason why I included it is I got tagged in this actually quite a bit, and it got viewed 22,000 times. I I I'm not sold on it because, well, you'll see in a second, right? So here we have a little look around. And then when you zoom in, you've got someone in the here. And so I think what we're pointing out is this person here. The reason why I'm not so sold on it is I, I don't think that, well, I mean, this could be years old, this picture. 
And uh, I think the reason why they've gone with it is either because it's Rowan University or because it was actually quite close to where Joe Gacy was born. So I've got a feeling they've gone with that. Then to go to Street View and see a person in the distance walking out of the hall. Don't know. I don't know that this is something that they've planted, for example, because I would imagine that this Street View was done well before Nightbirds. So I don't know. Um, but people were quite excited by this one. And I uh, got tagged in it quite a bit. But what I do have to say is Roxy Toxic doing incredible work. Even though I'm not sold that this is something, I still think the thought to actually click on the street view is something I've never thought to do. And actually, that's something they could use in the future where they give us coordinates. And actually, if we click on the street view, then we find some. And maybe this is something, right? Maybe this is something. But um, yeah, uh, again, I wanted to make sure, again, if I didn't think it was worth talking about, I wouldn't have included it at all. So uh, I still wanted to uh, mention this. So Roxy Toxic, shout out to you. Right, Bray Wyatt fan said, in the first picture, that's the first time we saw Uncle Howdy interrupting Bray during his emotional return. This is exactly the same as the figure below uh, I know it's vague, though. Well, I do see it, though, and I'm sure you see it as well. So this is one of the five images that was in that video. There was two video clips in the QR code on Monday, and um, there was five images that were in there. This is one of the five. And uh, honestly, I think you can see the connection. I mean, it is very, very good. It is very, very good. So Fiend Legacy, shout out to you. I think I think you're onto something there, to be honest. I think you're onto something. Uh, the one thing I would say, though, is that when Bray came back, he wore an Uncle Howdy mask. It could be that that Uncle Howdy mask is going to be something that the whole group wear, like a cult, you know? And it could be that when they take it off, we see who's underneath. So even though this is a Howdy mask, it might not be Howdy. It could be Joe Gacy. It could be Eric Rowan. It could be Dexter Loomis. It could be Nikki Cross. We don't know. I think Nikki Cross stands a good chance of being that bride, sister, whatever that is. This, obviously, I don't know who this is, but I do think you're onto something with it being an Uncle Howdy mask. I like that. Right, next, uh, Nick said, the clue is in the title of the article. Study sees negative results. What if you make the article negative? What do you see? So I thought this was excellent. You know the news article. I've actually got the news article above here. Study sees negative results, right? So here Nick said, I think the clue is the word negative. Make it negative. And then what do we see? I did that. Unfortunately, it didn't bring anything up. But I just thought you would like to know some of the thoughts and the investigation that's been going on. Because honestly, I did it and it didn't show anything. But that was so clever. If that had been the key words, study sees negative and the word results as well. So very good. But I've got an app on my phone that can turn pictures into negatives. So I did it. It didn't it didn't show anything. But that does uh, lead me on to this. Look, Erase Your Mind said, I think I discovered summer. Not referring to the Los Angeles time, but look at this. What is this? So um, I don't know quite how we manipulated this. It looks like we've changed the brightness. So there could be, I don't know, a bit more messing around done. But I agree that definitely looks like something. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was connected to this. You might remember that this was an article that kind of went over onto uh, onto this page, right? Um, but this looks like it's something else, doesn't it? This looks like it's something different. So again, a bit of manipulating. It looks like it kind of goes up here a little bit on the side as well. Is there something hidden under here that we need to be aware of? We obviously found some under here, that sweet dreams rising, which we never really got to the bottom of. It was that bakery that turned out that they'd actually been laundering money. And I think that it might be indicating that the bakery wasn't what it seemed, just like the Firefly Funhouse. But I don't know about this. 
Very interesting. Excellent find by Oration Mind. Oh, look at this as well. Riddict said, I've been thinking uh, it was the Howdy Mask just based on the shape. I was taking photos of mine and distorting the images. You can definitely tell that's what it is. Here's the originals. They're my attempt to mimic what we are seeing. It's definitely just the Howdy Mask. So I felt good that this one was the Howdy Mask. I think it was the eyebrows that like did it for me. And uh, here you can see Riddick recreating it, right? Brilliant. This one uh, there, look, you can see um, it's good, isn't it? It looks good. You can sort of see the similarity. So I, I think that those five pictures are maybe just different people or maybe the same person wearing howdy masks. But as we said, when Bray returned at Extreme Rules, he was wearing the howdy mask. Is it a bit like a cult? Right. It could be that these are howdy masks, but they're all being wore by different people. So excellent work, Riddick. Right. Modern Mogul said best off based off the numbers in the questionnaire four, seven, eight, nine. Look to the biblical reference to co-inheritors. This is seemingly been Bo inheriting and the Bible verse comes from Luke. So uh, apparently this 4789, which these were the questions that if you got them wrong, it took you to that video clip. You couldn't move forward, right? But if you answered yes to these, then you moved forward to the next stage. So uh, the definition for this 4789 apparently is a co-inheritor, a co-inheritor a joint heir. I don't quite know what this means. I mean, it does feel like um, Bo may have inherited Bray's story, his characters, his creative. So I don't know. If, is there something to that? We don't know if the 4789 actually even means anything or if it was just those questions that were, you know, random. But I don't know. Uh, there's not too much here that feels like it's been random. I could totally believe that the 4789 does mean something. And is this what it is pointing towards? So Modern Mogul, shout out to you. Oh, this was really good. Crimson, shout out to you, buds. So here, look, we've got Rowan University saying, WWE, are you planning to visit our campus? And then they've included uh, Eric Rowan. Uh, and that was really, really good. Uh, and then Rob Fee responded here, right? So we actually got uh, a response from Rob Fee. I think he responded something like, oh, good, you see. As if like, oh, good, you're aware of this. It's been found or, you know. So, um, yeah, that was really good. That was earlier today that Rowan University uh, tweeted that out. And Rob Fee was straight on it as well. So very, very good. Uh, Crimson, well done. Right, uh, here's Bryson said, Joe Gacy pe uh, posted this. It looks like it could be Bray Taunt. He does that in the corner. It's pretty interesting. So it is true um, that Joe Gacy has uh, sent this out and he's upside down in the corner. It's very Bray Wyatt-esque, isn't it? Here, look, uh, placebo, every you, every me. So uh, there we go. Joe Gacy sending that out earlier. Right, Ardesh said, I'm late to the party. I had to wait a little today. Another brilliant tease for the Wyatt Six. There are 10 questions and 10 answers. What I think of all of this. So let's uh, bring this over and let's go down. So question one, can you ever truly be free? And the answer is this image that was called autonomy. Uh, and the answer, if you answered this, was a puppet is free as long as he loves his strings. So the question was, can you ever truly be free? The answer is a puppet is free as long as he loves his strings. And uh, Adash said, does this mean he is still controlling them? Or did he free the puppets from the strings? Number two, have you ever lost your way? And the answer was N, which we still don't know what that is, actually. Uh, when clicked, it shows the bride veiled woman. So you might remember that this was, wait, could that be Nikki? I wonder if that's N for Nikki, because um, this is the uh, N was the name of the this video clip. So this could be Nikki Cross. She lost her way and he helped her. 
it's really good actually to match up the title with what we ended up getting like the actual media that it connected with and then it like ardesha has gone one step further and added in the questions from the questionnaire like all of this being brought together i think this is a, a fantastic thread Adur said did you find your way back the answer was i see you too it was the first audio file where the spectrogram says hello he might be telling us that if we're stuck he can help us so did you find your way back We've got hello, and we've got the title, I see you too. I, I, I don't know. I, I keep thinking about John Cena with I see you. And I don't know. I don't know. Uh, do you want to be better? The answer was Matt 77. So the image showing code from a QR code from the Twitch stream. Are we getting another Twitch stream or is it about the door? If it's Matthew 77, then it could mean knock and the door will open. Is this an indicator that if we go to the door from raw qr code on was it the 13th right uh i think it was 12 12 12 wwe.com slash 12 12 12 if we go there and we go to the door thing at the top if we click that today wednesday will it actually take us to the whatsapp will it take us where we need to go the problem we've got is we don't know what time it is that we need to be clicking it. That's a problem. I have asked Rob Fee. We can have a look in a bit to see if he's responded. At the time when I started recording this, he hadn't. So I, I don't have any update on that, unfortunately. Uh, if I'm correct, in the last Firefly Funhouse, Bray asked who opened the door. This could be tied into that story. Right, number five. Do you know that I'm proud of you? Right. Answer was North Star. And that was the second audio clip. Uh, when you ran that through the spectrogram, you got Bray's logo. So Bray is the North Star. Now he shows me his vision. And it is beautiful. From one of the notes in that room, they are proud of Bray and his work. So could it be that they're saying that they are proud of Bray? Do you know that I'm proud of you? He is their North Star. And there was the Firefly logo. So again, a Dersh just bringing all of this together. It's excellent work. Number six is love unconditional. So the answer, reborn, right? Uh, the location of Rowan's university was the QR codes. So probably Eric Rowan. He might be coming in as a different character or there could be something that he did in this story. So um reborn i mean this could this would be the rebirth of eric rowan of course because he's not been around so maybe rowan university is eric rowan uh reborn is his return i'm not sure how it connects to is love unconditional not sure how it connects to that bit but again i like it i like all of this being brought together Number seven, have they been set free? Okay, uh, the answer or the title was testimony. He says he saved them from the cave and he gave them purpose. Did he help them or did he make them believe that what he was telling them is their purpose? I think they are only free from the cave, but now they are his puppets. So have they been set free is the question. Testimony is the title and the actual thing it's the title of is this the news article so the news article testimony and the question have they been set free they all seem to be connected number eight do you believe answer is i see and it is the wendy lucho picture and we know that wendy lucho is uncle howdy he might be asking if we believe it's uncle howdy does this mean that there is someone else that could be pulling the strings? Uh, maybe. Do you believe, or is it, do you believe in Uncle Howdy? Like, do you believe in him? Do you believe in what he's trying to do? I see is the uh, title of this one. So, mm. number nine, do you want to meet them? Uh, the title of this was Last. 
Are we getting the last clue on this day, Wednesday, 522 on WWE's WhatsApp? Also, is the liar writing a callback to Uncle Howdy's promo? Or is it that he's saying he set them free a lie? Well, I took it that liar was Uncle Howdy when he was talking to Bray, right? So... I don't know. I mean, obviously, we're very interested in this. There's no time. People are thinking this might be the time, right? This might be the time. But there's no guarantee of that. I mean, I, I, I just don't know. It's really difficult. Really, Do you want to meet them? How does do you want to meet them last? And this come together as uh, Adersh says, is it a case that... This is going to be the last clue that we get. And actually, will we meet them on this? Last one. Number 10. Soon. Witness. Howdy. So is it soon you, you will witness howdy? Is that what it is? Soon you will witness howdy. Is it as simple as that? Soon we will witness his story. Also, this could mean that he is just a witness to all of this. Interesting. Uh, what if we are in the cave seeing the shadows that he is showing us? Can't wait for this reveal. Also, look closer is 10 letters, 10 answers, options at the end that we get. When we click each option, the links to those items appear in place of the hashtag of the first line. Don't quite get that bit, to be honest. But um, I love this. I think what Adersh has done here is absolutely incredible to get the title to get the question to get the piece of media that these all connect so the first thing you see connects to the first question and we've got the title of it the second uh bit of media we get at the end there's the second question there's the title of it so on so on so on. i think that is just incredible work i think uh absolutely brilliant so uh a shout out to you my friend i think you absolutely killed that Dave said, if it's helpful, here are the images from last night with their titles. The one I found most interesting is Reborn being the coordinates to Rowan University. I also think the door in Matt 77 is the same door that led us to the Twitch channel. So there you can see people thinking, do we need to go back? I mean, we know to go to WhatsApp, so it's not really something we need to do, but at some point tomorrow, will that link to that door from the previous QR code, the one from the 13th, will that lead us to WhatsApp? Interesting. Chrissy said the faces all look similar to Uncle Howdy, but just formed differently. Could it be like Black Phone, five emotions of Uncle Howdy? Maybe, maybe. I, I think that... Um, I think I like the idea that it's just the mass being war by five different people, uh, the different members. But, um, yeah, you can't rule anything out. Uh, I included this again. I loved it. I even tweeted it out, look, uh, 19 hours ago. Got over 4,000 views. I loved that. I thought that was really clever. Crimson said, so the name's not Nightbird, it's Cave Birds. So uh, we spoke about this during one of the live streams. These are two shirts that are coming, but they're not out yet. And that's upset people because apparently it comes out, I think, the day before Clash at the Castle. So people are worried that that's an indicator that it means they're not coming until Clash at the Castle. I don't know why you would delay these. It doesn't make any sense to delay these because... Surely you can just print whatever you want, whenever you want. So why can't they just start making these? Um, I don't really get it. I really, I don't understand. I don't understand why we're waiting until Clash at the Castle. So I don't know if it's a manufacturing thing. I don't know if they've got to get the designs loaded up. I, I don't know. I, I can't get my head around it, to be honest. Because in my mind, they've just got a T-shirt printer and they can just print whatever they want, whenever they want. If it's a case that they have to get so many manufactured, maybe that's why it's being delayed because they've got to get so many made uh, and then they can sell them, you know? I don't really know the logistics of how they do it, to be honest, but what I do know is that it's not dropping anytime soon. Like, I think it's just before Clash at the Castle, someone was saying. So that's upset people. Uh, and then it's called Cavebird. To be honest, I think it might be called Cavebird for copyright reason. Perhaps they just couldn't get the Nightbird 
copyright. Perhaps they can't call it night birds. Um, so they've had to come up with something else, which is cave birds. I'm still going with night birds, right? I'm still going to go with that because there's a good chance that this thing is done by the time we get to Saturday. It would seem silly to change it now. So I'm still running with night birds. But um, yeah, it could be cave birds. And if we don't get them coming back on Saturday and QR codes are going to continue, we might have to think about referring to it as cave birds because this is... Quite interesting, isn't it, that they've gone with that as the title. So that was the QR codes. Let's come out and go into Nightbird because there's a little bit here, not loads. So here, look, uh, Niji said, we know that Uncle Howdy is a play on Captain Howdy from The Exorcist. Uh, the Not sure if anyone else has mentioned it, but I see a resemblance. So apparently this is from The Exorcist. Uh, when I think we briefly see the demon. And uh, could it be that that is what inspired young Bray or Bo? I still don't know if this is Bray or Bo. Uh, could it be that this is something that inspired young Bray or Bo? It's a good thought. Love it. So, Nidji, shout out to you. Uh, Anarchy Creations found out that the world that was in one of the recent QR codes appears to have been from the 2014 Raw intro. So that was a good find. Love that. Uh, Tribal Chief. So here, I can't remember who this was. This was Rikishi. So Rikishi uh, talking about the Fireflies. Um, this was from Off the Top. So he said Bray Wyatt is one of my favorite wrestlers. And to see his spirit in there, uh, he says, you know the friendship between the two. That has to feel so amazing to know that my friend's spirit is around. And here I am to help carry it on. That was Rikishi. I don't know what he means by here I am to carry it on. Um, that was Rikishi uh, on the Fireflies now appearing as a part of Jay Uso's entrance. So uh, there we go. Just a comment from him. And here's Hailstorm saying, based on the idea of North Star being the guide and the image being what shows up with the North Star audio, I think we're onto something. An earlier QR code mentioned something about following the prophecy of the words of the Red. Maybe this faction. So again, what Hailstorm is saying there is, are we following the words of the Red? Is the words of the Red or are the words of the Red the North Star that we have that we're being guided by, that we're following? Just to strengthen that connection between Bray and North Star. And very interesting that the picture that was created for that was the Firefly Bray Wyatt logo. So I doubt that definitely feels quite good, doesn't it? I, I like that one. So lots of little bitty bits here, you know, not really anything too big and satisfying, but I think some interesting stuff all the same. So that's all the Nightbird stuff. We've got other folders to get into. Oh, we got a perv folder. Now, I'm not just trying to get pictures of anything, right? There's got to be something to them in order for us to do this, right? So when I click this, I think you'll see why it's been included, right? Come on. Come on. So here is Buddy Matthews. Yeah. Just smiling away, living his best life. But look at what he's using as a pillow. That is Rhea Ripley. So that is him and Rhea enjoying a little bit of sunshine. And uh, there he is lying on her backside. Just living his best life, man. Just living his best life. So there's Buddy Matthews flexing. And uh, Coach Co tagging me in that. Appreciate it, my friends. So uh, there we go. You see, it's a perf picture, but there's some uh, a little more about it. I keep getting sent pictures of just like random female wrestlers in bikinis and whatever. It's like, I don't think you get this. That's not what we're looking to do. Right, let's go to uh, WWE and uh, go down. So this was big news today. So, Mark, thank you. PW Chronicle said WWE have announced that they'll be returning to Japan for the first time in five years. And I've been asked, uh, like, could it be a case that some of these will show up in Marigolds? Uh, I don't know if Marigolds has got a show on at this time, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th. I don't know. But if Marigold is running a show 
then yeah, I think there is a chance. Marigold is being run by the person that created Stardom. Uh, he is also Rossi Agawa, the person that helped Kyrie get back to WWE. He's got strong connections with EO. I think he's got good connection with Asuka as well. I mean, he really does know a lot of the female Japanese talent, right? So WWE obviously had him over for WrestleMania, and it does definitely feel like they're looking to strengthen. So even if they don't end up doing something with him, or like, you know, where they actually go to his show, uh, there's still a chance he could appear in ring and like cut a promo and have something to say. So this is going to be very interesting. This is going to be very interesting. So yeah, them going over to Japan is probably not the biggest surprise because there's been a lot of talk about WWE in Japan. It's been a lot of talk about Noah wanting to work closer with WWE, and that's a Japanese promotion. And obviously, we know about Rossi Agawa. We know that Julia's coming over. Um, there's been a bit of chatter. There's a few things going on. I mean, NXT Japan has been rumored for a long, long time. So uh, them going back over there now just, just makes sense. But first time in five years, they haven't been over there since the pandemic. So very exciting. Oh, this. Oh, Cody said, I just wrote my book. It only has two lines. I love Brandy Rhodes. The end. So here's Brandy. She said, three years of pain with no answers. Maurice's story encouraged me to press on. Many appointments later, we found the answer. Stage four, endometriosis. Successful surgery today. Ladies, listen to your bodies. We don't have to live with pain. Advocate for yourself finally on the road to recovery so i don't know uh anything about endometri endometriosis to be honest but um you know i can't imagine that that's something that you'd want to just leave untreated so uh stage four endometriosis successful surgery brilliant so brandy Rhodes really going through it that was four hours ago two hours ago cody so there we go. Cody got a book out. Uh, it's only two lines. He loves Brandy Rhodes. The end. Right, uh, Harry, shout out to you. So Dominic commented on rumors about him and Liv. And uh, basically he just said, you know, he's trying to make sure everything's perfect for when mommy comes back. So they pointed out, he was on a, uh, an interview and they pointed out what people were saying. And he was like, well, I appreciate you telling me, but I'm just trying to make sure everything's great and everything's perfect for when mommy returns. So, and, and so he seems to be playing down anything between him and Liv. But to be honest, he's clearly not going to give anything away at this stage. So I wouldn't read too much into it. But um, yeah, he has commented on it today. Dominic Mysterio has got no plans on leaving the Judgment Day. So uh, never. He was asked, would he leave the Judgment Day? And the answer came back, never. Right, let's go to NXT. We've got a few bits in uh, here following today's show. So uh, boom, Ethan, shout out to you. So uh, I think, I hope it's in here, Julia's injury. That was pretty big news today. So uh, Fightful Select has learned from WWE and NXT sources that despite Julia suffering a fractured wrist, which happened recently. It's delayed everything, right? WWE remain hopeful that she'll still be ready for their targeted debut of NXT Heatwave versus Roxanne. So apparently NXT Heatwave, that's not what's next. It's Battleground next. But uh, they're trying to get Julia in for Heatwave and they want her against Roxanne Perez. That is going to cook, man. That is going to bang. That is going to be so good. So there we go. NXT Heatwave is what they're targeting, right? That's what they're targeting. But she does have a fractured wrist right now. Hey, here's Mr. Stone. He said, when Dante first arrived from Singapore, he told me that he had followed my career. So I decided to follow his. You will not meet a more deserving guy. He's been killing it on Level Up and live events these past few years. I'm glad the whole universe just got to experience him. What a moment. That's a bit of an unfortunate picture, but what a moment this was. I mean, when he came out... 
like the place was just going crazy. I thought someone from the main roster had arrived, not someone that we barely see on NXT. But he must have been killing it on NXT level up because this crowd loved him. So there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Big moment for him. It was big. It was probably my favorite part of the night, actually. Right. Here's Ava. She says uh, 521 to do schedule Tatum therapy appointment. Right. Book travel for sexy red and install better locks. And uh, Tatum said, I love that you think of me. I think of you too. A lot. So it looks like Tatum Paxley has moved on from her obsession with Lyra Valkyria. Now she seems obsessed with Ava. Oh, this was good. Mark Coffey said, I knew I'd seen Oro Mensa's outfit before. And uh, there we go. Making fun of uh, what Oro Mensa was wearing today. Love that. There's a response here. Oro Mensa says legend recognizes legend. So that was a good response. Zoe Stark said it's about damn time. I'm excited to watch Shayna kick her ass that she loves to shake so much. So this was great as well at the end of uh, NXT. Lola turning on Shayna and um, Shayna got planted. And as Lola was dancing away celebrating, Shayna grabbed a hold of her and choked her out. So I did see Shayna respond to this saying, yeah, sorry it took so long. So uh, very good. Right. Uh, Lexis King said that ref counted way too fast. By way of royal decree, I demand this decision be challenged immediately. Review the footage, Ava. So uh, he's not happy at his loss to Dante Chen. There's Wendy. Look, Wendy Chu says, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. So uh, there we go. Obviously, we saw her waking up and getting out of bed. So uh, she is on her way back. Uh, look at this. Brooks Jensen in the crowd took a picture and he said, and nobody noticed. So apparently he was in the crowd, sat in the crowds, took a picture. I wonder if he was there during NXT. I wonder if we were to go back and have a look. He was actually sat there. Like, maybe under a bit of a disguise or something. But, I don't know. Was he there all night? Brooks Jensen. Nobody noticed. Wow. Oh, love, look at this. Joe Coffey said, it's pure heat out there. Drink plenty. Mark Coffey said, stay hydrated, lads. Internet tears. Oh, that's so good, isn't it? That's so good. Love that. Right, let's go to Raw. We've got a few bits on Raw, not loads. Oh, here's the footage, look. So uh, there's Liv getting out the car. There's Finn getting out the car. Liv and Finn getting out the same car at the start of Raw. Very interesting. Uh, Antonio N6, shout out to you. People pointed this out. I really didn't think much of it, but people really got excited by this. So there was like a, a, a lunchbox or something that had Demon Balor on it. People really caught their attention. So uh, I don't know that this is a tease that Demon Balor is on the way. I just think that Demon um, Finn Balor is in uh, Judgment Day and there's just little bits of merch to do with the group in the background. I, I would love it if uh, Demon Balor was to return. Um, I would totally be down for that. I, I just don't know that that's what this is teasing. It might just be a reference to where we've been rather than where we're going. But we are expecting there to be a big change with Judgment Day because, of course, we've been waiting for Finn and Damien to turn on each other for a while. And that feels like it's getting closer. You know, we've already seen Damien grabbing Finn around the kind of chin around the neck area. He ain't going to uh, be pleased with much more of that. So maybe, maybe. Right, Watson, thank you. Hangem High said, is that Triple H, Heyman and Regal? It does feel that way, doesn't it? That looks like Triple H just leaning forward a little bit with headphones on. There, that's quite Paul Heyman-y. That definitely looks like Regal. Definitely. Don't know where Bruce Pritchard is. I would have imagined Bruce Pritchard to be sat here, to be honest. But yes, Regal. Yeah, I could go with that being Heyman. It's the, it's the hair, really, or lack of. Uh, and Triple H, yeah. So there we go. That was when Jay Uso was 
walking through. And then we've got this EO Sky with a busted nose. Uh, it, it, it must be said as well, I have been tagged a few times in people saying, was there someone behind Jay when he came out? I went back and watched it. And there was, when he walks out into the arena, there's someone in the entranceway. But if you look, they look like they're a technician. It looks like they're messing with a cable or something. Like, I think they're a sound technician or a, uh, like, you know, a picture technician or something. I, I don't think it's anything more than that. I really don't. So that was uh, Raw. So we've done Nightbird. We've done Perv. We've done QR Code. We've done Raw. We've still got to do that. Uh, I think it's just these three, actually. So let's do Merch. A little bit of merch. So there we go. I added it in this folder as well. I love that. I think that's an amazing shirt. Not as keen on that one. I love that one. I think I could definitely see me getting this when it finally drops. This is nice as well. This shirt is pretty cool. Uh, so Jay's Niners fan, shout out to you. And Mo Reigns, shout out to you. Head to WWE Shop. Check out the new Kabuki Warriors tee. Again, you can get to uh, WWE Shop. There is a link in the description. It's in the description of all the Unseen videos and the Nightbird videos and the live streams. It's always there. Uh, so we I did tweet this one out, actually, because I knew that you lot would be excited by this. But, um, yeah, just can't get it just yet, unfortunately, which I didn't realize at the time. Uh, and I wanted to include this one. There's Asuka going, yeah? But more than that... Asuka and Kyrie are now the number one uh, women's merch sellers, knocking Liv to number two. So I think this has now meant that they've shot up. So I thought you might find that interesting. Right, let's have a little look at fun, shall we? I don't know how much we've got in here. Uh, oh, yeah. So here's President Biden. He says, join me in New Hampshire as I deliver remarks on the Pact Act. Right? 1,000, 1,400 likes. Okay? President Biden, the real one, 34.9 million, 1.4 thousand likes. Die Jack, ratio for making me wait an extra hour to get my bags. So uh, here's Die Jack. I'm getting, is that Air Force One, is it? Is that Air Force One? I'm guessing that's Air Force One. That's like, yeah, look, it's got the American flag on the back. If if that's that's um, if that's Air Force One, that is amazing, isn't it? Watching that take off from the airport. So ratio for making me wait an extra hour to get my bag. Four point one. He ratioed the president of the United States of America. That is gold standard. That has got to be the greatest ratio we have ever seen. One point four. Four. It's not just a little ratio. He killed him. He killed him. Well, it didn't actually. Don't. It didn't actually kill him. Don't take that back. He didn't actually kill him, right? I don't want him getting done for treason or whatever. Um, but yeah, look at that. Amazing. Love this as well. J Star and J Star WWE and Harry. Shout out to you. Very good. Very good. What bar? It reminds me of OSW review. Uh, so, uh, as I have one, I have to make this meme, said J-Star, J-Star. Uh, high in vitamin C, and probably things that are bad for you as well. So, uh, there we go. I thought it was excellent. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Look at this. Look at this. Ricochet and Jey Uso. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Ricochet and Jey Uso. So uh, who is vindictive? Incredible. And Coach Co, thank you. <laughs> it's the dance in a second. Look. Off we go. Off we go. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, so funny.
Tristan said the heartbreak kid, dirty dumb. So sitting in gorilla said Liv and Bo are not together anymore. The heartbreak kid, dirty dumb strikes again. Do you know, I, uh, oh, I didn't know it was a video actually. I'm going to take the sounds off. I'm guessing it's just audio, to be honest, of uh, Sean's music. But um, I wonder if I wonder if Liv really is single. I wonder if that was true or if she's actually using that because she knows people will talk about it. And then when she gets with Dom, it will seem a bit more realistic. I wonder if I wonder if there's something to that. Don't know. Don't know. And then we got this look. Uh, Noxtalgia said JD McDonough was spotted in the crowd of a bowling match. Look at this. They allow Funko Pops in to watch bowling. Look, you can tell this woman's like, I don't think I've got that one. She's having a little glance down, isn't she? She's like, oh, I've got a lot of WWE Funko Pops, but I don't have this one. This one moves. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about bowling, man? Wasn't Baron Corbin there the other day? Is this like a real big dick? And look, he's called Boogs. That is, that's what Rick Boogs does now. Wow. Wow. And Gable Svevson. He used to be in NXT. Gable Svevson. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there we go. JD McDonough on FS1. So, Noxtalgia, shout out to you. Right, one more folder, and I don't think we got loads. Oh, there, I wondered where it was. So there we go. WWE, look at her face. Uh, WWE bound Julia injured at new Joshi promotion. Marigold's first show. The first show. Um, Mitchell, shout out to you, tagging me in this. So Dwayne uh, Johnson's A24 drama, The Smashing Machine, is looking to be in theatres in December. That is what he's looking like at the moment. So obviously that's him in character for this uh, new movie that he's doing, but he's absolutely massive, and he look how jacked he is. He looks different, doesn't he, with the hair piece? And I don't, I feel like they've done some, I don't know, prosthetics or something. Have they changed his nose and chin or whatever? You can sort of see it's him, but it feels, I don't know, it somewhat feels off, doesn't it? So I don't know if they've done some prosthetics on there. Definitely the hair, of course. But he, yeah, he looks absolutely Jackson Mitchell. Thank you. And then this is our last one. Oh, oh. Uh, right. So Cody said the only person he regrets missing is Sean Spears in his WrestleMania celebration. This was a bit of a surprise. Uh, he does not get enough credit uh, from me uh, for how special he is. He is the only person that I regret. I didn't have in the ring after WrestleMania. I saw him that day. We took a picture together and he was just like he always was. He knew what that day was. He knew it was big. I wouldn't be where I am without Sean Spears. He's a blessing to the business and I'm so glad to see him in NXT. Wow. Yeah. No, I, I didn't realize they were that close, honestly. So amazing. So there we go. That is uh, everything I could uh, find. I'm sure there's been little bits and bobs that have been missed. I have no doubt about that. Um, uh, I keep saying that my notifications are like a running tap. In fact, we can have a little look. We'll do it live, shall we? We'll have a little look at the running tap that is my notifications. Uh, and we can see if Rob Fee has uh, responded. So... Uh, we've just got, I'm looking for Rob Fee. That's what I'm looking for to see if he has responded. That was 49 minutes ago. Tall guy. Uh, what's that? Oh, hey, Days. I'm not sure if this is summer, but I've translated this 5 2 2 pick. Do you know what I would say about that is I thought it said three, but it might just be that the five is a bit, do you know what I mean? So that it, here, look, tall guys translated it as three. 2-2, two, two. but I mean it's got to be a 5, hasn't it? It's got to be a 5. It's got to be a 5. What else have we got there? Is there anything else that was found? No, I think it's just that. Redacted? Redacted? Where's that come from? Don't know. And this is why I always wondered what this was up here. I always wondered what this was. Just, just what is it? <laughs> Why is it up there? What's it doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's funny you should say that. I have looked at that and thought, is that a three? Is that a five? I'm fairly convinced it's a five, but that is interesting. 
That is interesting. It's also interesting that Rob Fee has not responded. There we go. Look, we've got back to where I uh, where I got to. So, yes, yeah, still nothing from Rob Fee, unfortunately. So, uh, appreciate everyone tagging me in bits and bobs. Uh, uh, obviously, as news is uh, continuing to come through. Chris, thanks. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, there we go. We're done. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Appreciate uh, the support, as always. And I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.